Right, so why does the gain disappear when I select uh, input B? Uh, first of all, the first thing you need to know is uh, what input B is actually doing. So by default, um, you've got input A, uh, you've got input B, and then you've got USB. Input B is basically showing, is basically set by default to USB. So essentially, um, if you want to understand, and I've done a video on routing, so I won't go into too much detail here, but if you want to understand how the routing in Master Fader works, the options on the left are where the audio is coming from, or this, you know, the source. Um, and the, what's at the top is what channel um, is going to control that source. So for example, if I wanted mic 321 to be controlled by channel 1 on the mixer, which is this channel here, this is channel 1. So when I turn that up, what will actually be turning up is mic 321. So this is the pre-input on the physical mixer. And 21 will be there. And then if I wanted to turn the gain up, I just go to the gain here and I wouldn't turn up the gain on channel one. I'll turn up the gain on channel 21. And then that would allow me to control channel 21 or the mic pre input um, uh, 21 using channel one. Okay. However, for um, the question that's been asked is why does the gain disappear when I select input B? What this is saying here is that, let me just put this back where, where it was, which is there. What this is saying based on what we just looked at now is that the information coming in here is no longer coming in from the mic pre, so the physical um, inputs where you plug XLRs and jacks into the actual mixer. The information is now coming in from USB. So it means if you have a USB type B uh, on the mixer plugged in and you've got that hooked up to a computer, for example, and within your computer, you've opened up a digital audio workstation, a door, people laugh at the way I say door, they say, are you talking about the door that you open and close? Or are you talking about door as in digital audio workstation? I mean digital audio workstation, which I won't say door, I'll say digital audio workstation. But yeah, if you've got a digital audio workstation opened up, a door, um, you um, essentially can, if you have a series of channels working on your on your door and you've got some stuff that you've already been uh, playing, within your door, you can send that information out of the door via USB. And whatever channels you pick on the door, if you said that you want you know, your first channel on your uh, mixer on your door to go out and, and of USB 10, for example, then what, what that would then mean is USB 10 here is what it will be received. It will be received on the USB 10. And currently the routing has it going to uh, channel 10. Now bear in mind the channels are what this is. These are the channels here. As you can see, it says CH at the bottom. And you would then turn up channel 10 in order for you to see the, f the audio coming in from your first channel on your on your mixer on your door so channel one on the door is being routed out through um uh through usb channel 10 and i don't know why someone would pick usb channel 10 um instead of just going with usb channel one um and do it one for one but in some cases you might have say for example you have you're doing a live mix for example and your first nine channels actually have physical mic pre inputs plugged into them. Um, channel 10 might be the first free one and you just want to carry on doing that. Then yeah, you, you could route it back through to USB 10. I've had situations where I've had to do that and it's just a case of remembering your routing. So anyway, yes. So to answer the question as to why the gain disappears is the second you have audio coming in via USB, the gain controls the gain level on the mic pre. So you see here, this is called mic pre. And when 
no longer using mic pre when we select USB. We're actually using the USB channel. When the audio is coming in via USB, it's not coming in via the physical input on the actual mixer. So because we have that audio coming in, say, on USB channel 1, okay, into, and it's being controlled by the physical uh, channel 1 here, okay, when we switch to input B, we're now saying that we're no longer using the mic pre. And likewise, the gain is used to control mic pre's. That's the only thing that this gain here will control. Because you're not using the physical mic pre and you're using a USB input, there's no point in having gain on there because if you turn it up and down it's not going to make a difference to the sound because there's nothing physically plugged into mic pre one does that make sense so then your trim then becomes your gain and what your trim is controlling because obviously if you're running it from your door you already have the volumes turned up on the so i use reason for example and reason gives you an ssl mixer and the ssl mixer will have a gain at the top and it'll also have the, the actual fader on the channel. So if I'm sending my, 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 my fader on, you know, my door is at uh, uh, unity gain, zero dB, and, you know, I've got whatever gain is set on that particular channel, that's already forcing through whatever level of volume that is through USB 1 into the mixer. Now, if that's coming in too hot, you'd use your trim to just adjust it if it's too loud and it's clipping because the, the second the audio comes in it'll be bouncing around and if it's too much you can just bring it down so that it's within acceptable parameters yeah you can change the audio volume on your fader within the actual digital audio workstation and i've got a video on here that illustrates that um, so you just have different ways of controlling that audio but the trim is a good way of just doing it because you can just go ahead and just get that done and you know you're done that's phase inversion by the way so you don't need to worry about that for now but that's why the gain disappears you know i've had that question asked like well why does the gain disappear well where did my gain go uh da 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 a b c d uh that'll be the reason why you don't need uh the actual gain uh once you're using um an input from usb because gain controls the mic pre and trim controls the usb um so that's pretty much it I do have a video on this channel uh, that talks about the differences between gain and trim. So if you have questions about that, um, literally, it's, I'll try and see if I can link it here or whatever. But if you have questions about that, then you can check out that video. That will help. All right, peace.